the New World Order is trending on Twitter today because there's a virus spreading right now that is being exposed for what it really is. This virus is affecting the minds of those who are infected by it, and unfortunately, it spreads quite easily from person to person. But it's not what you're thinking. Unlike COVID-19, this virus affects children first, who then in turn infect many others as they go about their daily lives. The virus in question, my friends, is statism, and its victims develop Stockholm Syndrome, a psychological response wherein a captive begins to identify closely with his or her captors, as well as with their agenda and demands. What demands? That you comply with their authority without question. That you do what you're told, when you're told to do it, and that you police your neighbors into going along with this agenda as well. What's the agenda? Well, it's for a great reset, a new normal, a new world order. The hope that each of us has to build a new world order in which nations and peoples with different systems and different values can live together in peace. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. Now we can see a new world coming into view. A world in which there is the very real prospect of a new world order. It is a big idea. A new world order where diverse nations are drawn together in common cause to achieve the universal aspirations of mankind. Out of these troubled times, our fifth objective a new world order can emerge. There is a chance for the President of the United States to use this disaster to carry out what his father, a phrase his father used I think only once and hasn't been used since, and that is a new world order. There's a need for a new world order in the next few years. A solution will emerge that people will look into that cauldron and decide that they have to learn their limits. But I think that at the end of this administration, with all its turmoil, and at the beginning of the next, we might actually witness the creation uh, of a new uh, order. After 1989, President Bush kept said, and it's a phrase that I often use myself, that we needed a new world order. It is a new mindset that the world now needs. It is a real global New Deal that we need, an ecological and an economic New Deal that we need in the name of France. I call upon all states to join ranks in order to found the new world order of the 21st century. I think the new world order is emerging and with it the foundations of a new and progressive era of international cooperation. We need a world of shared global rules founded on shared global values. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. A new world order is coming, but there's good news, my friends, and that is that this entire system is set up in a pyramidal structure that is destined to come crashing down one day. The only question is, which side will you have been on when all is said and done? Did you side with freedom, individual liberties, and sovereignty? Or did you police your neighbors into going along with the agenda of your captors? I, for one, will continue to expose wickedness in high places and to shed a light on the deeds that are done in the dark. 
If you appreciate my efforts, it is crucial now more than ever that you visit pressfortruth.ca where you can sign up to my newsletter. You can find me on all the alternative platforms to YouTube that I'm on. And here is where you can also financially contribute to my efforts. If that is something you would like to do, please check the links located in the description below. That's all for today, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. Click that thumbs up button and share this video if you found the information to be useful. And stay tuned, we've got more video reports coming soon. This is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth. We all want truth. The truth will set you free.